Hi, it's uh, Rich, the Most Like Garage again. I just want to, this is like part two because I've just done some uh, sorting things out. Just found out, whatever reason, um, you don't need to have the plus and the negative plugged in to a battery. Okay, um, this works without that completely. So, um, which is wonderful. It's obviously plugged in there, plugged in there on the four terminal. Um, and I've got it now switched on. It's connected beautifully. I just wanted to show you around it a little bit more, really, because it's quite interesting. Um, this software for the ST2. Um, there's the file. The, the view is quite good. Uh, faults. Um, click new faults or read. I think they seem to have disappeared now since I ran it. Yeah, there they go. So there's the uh, fault. So it keeps coming up with air temperature sensor um, and engine temperature sensor. It does say that it will come up with a lot of sorts just as routine. Um, so there's a few things I've got to look at because I do have a problem when the engine does get hot. So it only seems to run on new. Uh, it only seems to run on takeover. But uh, I was wondering what might reflect that and i was thinking that it might be something to do with the temperature obviously um it mentions a throttle sensor but some of those can be connected so anyway that is quite good because it has come up with faults um as i say i've got to interpret them new faults um and read so you know that's how you do it so that's there. Uh, also with the view, you can go into actuators. I haven't quite sorted this one out. I think it's a sort of testing uh, left and right. I'm not sure if you need it running or not, but um, you've got fuel pump, left and right ignition, um, and injector left and right. And you've got start there. If you press the start now, it just comes up with the arrow. So I'm going to run it in a second just to find out if that is needed to be running. The engine needs to be run. Oh yeah, and of course the ignition is switched on. And that all it needs. Um, moving across on the uh, this is in quite important bit because let's have a look here. Oh, I'll get there in a minute. Just find the cursor on oh, file. Um, preferences are grayed out at the moment, which I'm not quite sure why, but anyway, it's a fun bit of software. Um, but I mean, anyway, so view wise actuator faults measurements report you can do a report and it gives you a complete report what the last bits were regarding injector and, you know that's what i was literally running it five minutes ago and it comes up with various things um it's not showing a great deal though, but it does also come up with the new faults some list of bits and bobs that i'm going to look into um to see if there is a relative fault to why I've got a problem with Ducati regarding heating it up um, when it's, you know, um, fault temperature being run for a bit and then it creates havoc with only running on tick over. But anyway, that's another story. Um, so that is quite you. You can save the report, which I've done. And um, then you've got view. Let's go back to view again. And then you've got false actuators and report, which we've done. Okay, measurements. Really, it's for when it's running. I'll run it in a sec. Uh, let's see. You can set. You can choose whatever you want. Right, a res for a minute. 228. It's not running at a moment. Inject period. See if this makes a second uh, difference in a minute. Um, engine temperature. It's um, an odd reading. Um, voltage oh, gosh that must be the yeah the charge that's good uh, it's good to see uh, co2 trim uh, okay let's start her up and just see if those things actually alter so moment of truth
you can interpret whatever way you want, but we just go back to, uh, I'll save that, save it.